Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I had a whole bunch of people send me this story. It's out of Hawaii from azfamily.com. Lynn Kawana wrote it. Dozens of Oahu drivers arrested, jailed for DUI despite tests showing no alcohol in their systems. No alcohol. So over the last two years, dozens of Oahu drivers have been arrested for operating a vehicle under the influence with breathalyzer results of 0.0, meaning no alcohol showed as present in their system. And um, that's a problem. In 2022 and 2023, nearly 300 drivers who were arrested had breath or blood test results below the legal limits of 0.08, according to data on arrests that did not result in charges. However, there were 69 people who had been arrested with results of 0.0. So this um, news network obtained body camera video from a couple of recent arrests to try to figure out what's going on. In one of those cases, an 18-year-old was pulled over on the freeway near a stadium just after 10 p.m., Body camera video shows uh, an officer talking to the high school senior who is driving a pickup truck. Uh, The officer said, I pulled you over because you were swerving. The driver said he hit the gas on the on-ramp and his truck's tires slipped on the wet road. The officer then said, well, your eyes look a little red and watery. So she asked him to take a field sobriety test. He declined, and the high school senior is cuffed and taken to the substation. At the station, he agreed to take the breath test, and police records show he blew 0.0. There was no alcohol detected by the breathalyzer. Charges weren't filed, but the arrest was on his record because he was an adult. His parents had to pay $35 to get the arrest expunged. So in that case, he wasn't prosecuted for it, but he'd been arrested. So a former Hawaii PD officer, who is now a defense attorney specializing in traffic cases, says... When I was a policeman, I never had anybody blow triple zeros. He said the department puts pressure on officers to make drunk driving arrests, especially if you're in these specialized units where there is an unwritten quota. But remember, the quotas don't exist. Despite the fact that people keep saying they do, they do not exist because that's what they keep telling us. Meanwhile, another former city prosecutor turned defense attorney said unwritten quotas are a way for the department to gauge success when it comes to programs They get federal funding. Otherwise, what are their officers doing out there all night, just sleeping on the side of the road? So there is pressure on them to get results. Another attorney specializing in traffic cases said officers will sometimes make an arrest at the beginning of their shift so they don't have to worry about it for the rest of the night. So they arrest the first person, and then that way they can just kind of coast for the rest of the evening. (laughs) HPD declined requests for interviews. In a statement, the deputy HPD chief did not use the word quota, but said supervisors may have goals and standards that are pertinent to their unit to help guide the personnel under their command. The traffic division has conducted additional training in department procedures and operations for its personnel. Now, that training happened months after HNN investigated, uh, and they got data from the department for this story. And after the uh, investigation aired in December about a man who was arrested despite having no alcohol in his system, he was a 36-year-old, pulled over in November of 23 at a DUI checkpoint on a highway. Body camera video shows the officer told him, I do detect the odor of alcohol. Yet the man blew all zeros. But he said, I do detect the odor of alcohol. I'm surprised he didn't say, I do declare. He told uh, that to the man, and the man told the officer that he does not drink at all <laughs> and agreed to do the field sobriety test, including a breath test where he blew a 0.0. And by the way, it actually says 0.00. But in case some of you haven't figured this out yet, there's a famous scene in Animal House where the dean tells these guys what their grade point averages are. And when he gets to the end, the last guy goes, 0.0. So here, the man blew a 0.00. The officer used the smell of alcohol as probable cause to get him out of the car. When the breath test showed no alcohol in his system, the officer arrested him anyway, saying he was suspected of drug use. So the weird part is, he said you smell of alcohol. When there's no alcohol, he goes, well, now it's drugs. Well, did he smell of drugs too? What drugs did you smell? 
Legal experts said the arrest could be seen as a civil rights violation. Oh, because <laughs> remember, the man wasn't pulled over because he'd been doing something crazy like weaving around or, you know, down the wrong side of the road or, you know, chopping heads off parking meters, <laughs> which would be hard to do while you're driving. But legal experts said the arrest could be seen as a civil rights violation because he was stopped at a DUI checkpoint. So he was simply one of the people who got caught in a sweep, a dragnet. They, 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 they're pulling everybody over. So they make contact with him. The guy goes, you smell of alcohol. Turns out he doesn't because he blew a 0.00. Unless he spilled alcohol on him or something, but that'd be hard to do if you don't ever touch the stuff. I felt embarrassed and I felt profiled, the man said. Meanwhile, the uh, network investigating received data from the Honolulu prosecutor's office that showed that most cases that are referred to them are declined. Most cases referred to the prosecutor's office are declined. Do you know how bad that is when you're sending cases to the prosecutor's office and the majority of them are turned down? Either there's not enough here, this will never get a conviction, or there's something wrong with this case, but, but you don't ever hear of that. So last year, HPD sent 1,283 cases for prosecution, and more than 1,000 of them were rejected, which means that you had an 80% rejection rate. 80%. <laughs> Spokesperson for the prosecutor's office said the department will not file charges unless it is confident it can prove beyond you know, a reasonable doubt the person's guilt using admissible evidence. And by the way, that's the standard of most prosecutor's offices. And so a police department should know that. And whenever you do something 1,283 times and you fail 1,038 times, you should ask yourself, what am I doing wrong? Now, that's not one person is doing that, so I mean that figuratively speaking. Whoever's in charge of that police department, like, I don't know, maybe there's somebody who's chiefly in charge. <laughs> is there somebody in charge? Who's, who, who's, who's minding the mint? There's got to be somebody running the police department, right? That person should look at it and go, huh, so my officers sent 1,283 cases for prosecution but over a 1,000 of them are rejected. So that means that your officers are just spinning their wheels. They're going nowhere. They're, they're accomplishing nothing, except putting arrest records on people who shouldn't have them. So one person they spoke to here said drivers who are not intoxicated should, not, uh, should take the breath test. If you blow triple zeros, we know that you haven't had a drink, except, of course, that you might still get arrested. Meanwhile... Arresting people who are innocent has another effect um, because while they're arresting the wrong people, <laughs> the drunk guys are left on the road. So this one is crazy in the sense, and by the way, I, I do use that word a lot. <laughs> I also try to not use too much hyperbole, uh, but when a word is appropriate, sure, why not? This is crazy. Because you've got a police department in a major city that's sending over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cases. Of every hundred they send over, 80 of them are sent back saying, we're not going to prosecute. We're not going to prosecute. Which means that they're arresting hundreds and hundreds of people who wind up walking, and that's it. So all that happened was they got arrested, in essence, for no reason. And now there are police officers out there, especially in bad cop movies, who will say, well, at least we got the person off the road or got him off, uh, you know, off the streets. And uh, he's kind of like sent a warning shot over the, you know, over the bow of the boat, figuratively speaking. Ah, uh, but these people didn't do anything wrong. These aren't hardened criminals who like you shake them down once hoping that they'll stop. You know, the kid who gets pulled over because he's pulling onto a freeway and one of his tires slips. Yeah, you could give him a ticket for that that may have been some kind of unsafe start or careless driving or something. It may have been. I'm not saying that the guy should have been ticketed for it, but I'm just saying that, that if you see the guy spin his tires in traffic, okay, you might pull him over and go, hey, I saw you spin your tires. What's going on there? And when the guy blows zeros, you got to stop on the alcohol and go, okay, let's get back to that tire spinning, which started all of this. Maybe there's a ticket there. I don't know. I wasn't there, <laughs> But I cannot get over these numbers. 1,283 cases 
sent to the prosecutor, please prosecute, and 1,038 sent back saying, no, thank you. No, thank you. There's not enough here to get a conviction with admissible evidence. Not enough here. So they're doing their jobs poorly. And, you know, pointing out a department of the government that's doing its job poorly um, is a waste of taxpayer money that I'm pointing out, yes. But I feel sorry for the 1,038 people who were caught up in something and charges were dismissed. So they went through the hassle of being arrested and fingerprinted and handcuffed and thrown in the back of a car, all that stuff, all that stuff. A couple weeks later, nothing's happened, and their attorney says, oh, charges have been dropped. They decided to drop the charges against you. And at that time, you go, wow, I'm, I'm, whew, that's good. I, 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 I'm happy. I blew zero, so they couldn't have convicted me, but I'm, I'm happy. The charges are dropped, right? And then you find out that, oh, it happened to 1,282 other people. And now you realize, oh, that police department is being run incorrectly. Somebody who's in charge needs to be called to task on this, you would think. So it's a crazy story, and I stand by the use of the word crazy there. Lynn Kawana wrote that. A bunch of people sent it. Dozens of Oahu drivers arrested and jailed for DUI despite tests showing no alcohol in their systems. Where is Steve McGarrett? He needs to come in and straighten that place out. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. A little progression each day adds up to big results.